Next we will look at unsteady Bernoulli equation. So we'll start again from our standard Bernoulli equation, which was du dt plus the gradient of the Bernoulli function is u cross omega. This is standard form. And the unsteady version um, is typically only dealt with for irrotational flows. So let's consider an irrotational flow, which means omega is zero, which also means that the curl of u, which is just omega, is zero, and u cross omega is zero. So now our Bernoulli equation becomes simply du dt plus the gradient of b is zero. What we learned in the past is that if the curl of a function, like here, curl of a field is zero, then we can write the field as the gradient of a scalar. So write u as gradient of a scalar since the curl of the gradient of a function, scalar function phi, is zero. And then we can just write our Bernoulli equation as the gradient of d phi dt plus b equals zero. Which means that d phi dt plus b spatially will have to be a constant. So b recall the Bernoulli function b from last time which is just a half well in this case now it's a half the gradient of phi squared this used to be u or p as you might remember plus the integral dp over rho plus gz. So let me copy that and paste it here. So I'm substituting this in for b and then I can write my Bernoulli equation for unsteady flow as the gradient of d phi dt plus our Bernoulli, standard Bernoulli function has to be zero. Now let's integrate that and so the integral of this is going to be constant in space but not necessarily in time and this really is just b plus d phi dt right so we can write this as d phi dt is a constant of integration b that might depend on the time t. But this new Bernoulli equation here, Bernoulli function, sorry, um, is independent, is constant in space. We can redefine phi to include our um, constant in space Bernoulli function by saying just that phi dash is phi plus the integral of b over time from some reference time t0 to time t and that doesn't actually change our velocity field because u which is defined as the gradient of phi, spatial gradient of phi is the same as the spatial gradient of phi dash. 
since this term here is only dependent on time. And so I drop the dash and just rewrite my unsteady Bernoulli equation as d phi dt plus a half gradient of phi squared. And this now has to be a constant since we absorbed b of t into our definition of phi.